Today I have some really big news. I am engaged in a constant battle not to break this news early. It has been so hard to keep this quiet, but I made a solemn vow not to tell you I am wed to silence. Yeah, okay, I'm not getting married. The thing about marriage is, and I know this isn't gonna sound great, but I feel like it was probably easier when you used to go to a ball and line up on either side of a room and you just like pick out the guy with the least visible diseases. And he'd be like, yeah, all right, because your parents were gonna give him some like gold and nice cloth if he took you on. In these modern times, nobody will have me. Please, sir, my parents own many fine linens. Okay, no, but seriously, um, I am pregnant with emotion about this news. I can't hold it in any longer. I honestly feel like I'm about to burst. Get out the sewing scissors. It's time for a spiritual episiotomy. Honestly, it is long overdue. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not pregnant either. The thing about babies is they've done these studies and it turns out that they can actually understand right from wrong long before we think they can. So babies are just choosing to do the wrong thing all the time for personal gain. They're just little Slytherin crime bosses and they're eating all your grapes and I for one won't stand for it. The actual news is um, I've done something really bad and I'm really really sorry. Um, it's basically unforgivable but I've um, I've written a book. I actually have. I am. Um, I actually have written a book. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm not that sorry. I have written an actual book and it is actually being published by Bloomsbury. That's right, the Harry Potter one. I've gone through all of the emotions with this book, so if I seem a little bit, um, I don't know, unhinged in this video, it's because I really don't know how to feel. The book is called You're Crushing It! Exclamation mark. It is for teenagers and young adults and maybe old adults who still have no idea what they're doing with their life. It takes positive affirmations, those things that you see on like Tumblr and Pinterest that say things like, I choose happiness or I can move mountains. And it makes them realistic and applicable to your actual life and hopefully a bit funny. I worked very hard on this book. I worked so hard that it made me physically ill for a month. I gave myself a stress-induced UTI and a wisdom tooth infection in the same month. I bled and I peed for this. These pages are soaked with my- I can't show you the actual book because this isn't the actual book. This is the cover wrapped around someone else's book so I could read you some bits of um, their book. It's Adam. I'm enthralled. The book is structured around my own affirmations that I have written for you that will hopefully inspire you in your day-to-day -day life. But then each affirmation also has like some stories and wisdom and advice. It would mean the world to me if you pre-ordered this book. It comes out in June next year, but I've been told that pre-orders are super important. So if you want to buy one for yourself, your younger siblings, your cousin, your gynecologist, I wouldn't be mad about it. Don't worry, we took the swear words out. Suitable for teens. The links to pre-order are below. As somebody who has declared that I wanted to be an author since I was about six, with a brief blip when I was 12 when I wanted to be the blonde version of Amy Lee from Evanescence, this is genuinely a dream come true. So yes, I'm sorry that I've done a YouTube cliche and written a book. Um, but I think it's good and you'll like it and um, please buy it and goodbye. <laughs>